Good morning. How are we today? Very good. Good, good, good. All right, I want to talk to you a little bit about our gospel lesson today and how the disciples were in the boat. And Jesus, he needed some rest. And so he told them to go on ahead. And when he saw them, they were in their boat and they were using what? Yeah, they were using their oars. They were paddling, and the winds were against them, and they were struggling, and he saw them. And he walked out into the water, but he was going to pass by. Hmm, well, that sounds interesting. Why do you think? Well, he's going to pass by and then by them and see if they needed some help. And they cried out. Do you usually cry out for help if you need it? Mm-hmm. You don't do it if you don't need it, but only when you do need it, right? And they were crying out for help. And that's showing us that we're going to have some adversities in our life. That means troubles. We're going to have times in our lives where we need to call on Jesus. Sometimes we get to figure it out, what's going on. And within those times where we are at our weakest, he is at our strongest, and that says that right here in the Bible. You find that verse, it's from 2 Corinthians. So lots of times we're going to have troubles in our lives. Maybe it's troubles with family, maybe it's troubles with friends, maybe with sicknesses and illnesses, but that's when we can call on Jesus. And he says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And that says that right here, everything we need to know about Jesus is right here in the Bible. And so in our times of trouble, in our adversities, Jesus says, take courage. He says, I am here. God's name is I am. He says, I am here. I am here with you all the time. So no matter what is going on, Jesus says, I will be there. And Jesus walking on the water proved once again that he is God, that he is the Almighty, and there's nothing that he can't do, and he will always be with us. Let's pray. Dear God, Dear God thank, you your son, thank you for sending your Son, whose name is Jesus, Thank you for his forgiveness. Thank you for loving us. And help us to have courage in those times of trouble and to rely on you. We love you, Jesus. Amen.